not rusted iron. Because it's dropped by ghosts. You can't just rust your iron? No. Oh, well, it's matte, and it's like magic rust, then. It's haunted rust. Okay. That it's cursed sense. rust. That makes more sense than bronze being better than iron. Well, wait. Shuffle or rearrange your uh, chest so that, that way I can see what the fuck's going on. Okay. Let's go back down and see how many irons. Uh, okay, four, four. No. You have one too many bronzes. And because I have just a factory that makes these, I don't need... You have a factory? Yeah, he has a fur factory. Oh. Wait, is that pink fur? Pink yeah. Fur. It's oh. just fur. So they do drop pink fur. The squirrel does? Yes, the squirrel drops pink fur. Oh, but the pink woolly doesn't? Nope. Mm -mm. You said that didn't, I didn't think that was weird until now I realize it's a thing they could have dropped. Oof. <laughs> No, they drop wool, small, wool, medium, and... Oh, they're called fur as well. Never mind. Alright, this game makes no sense in any way. <laughs> you were close. You were close! I don't know why that took my head, but... Apparently, the... Japanese version line for Wonderful from Professor Oak in that game was a meme. Not oh, here it wasn't. Well, no, because Japan. What did he say? Swish, swish, swish. I don't get it. That's what he said? I guess I said that's a meme. You haven't shipped one of those, but you have three of them. Three of what? The Twinkle Seed. Ugh, Twinkle Seed. <laughs> You have to ship it for to be in your encyclopedia. Well, how else would you learn anything about it unless you got rid of it? Shipping it to the encyclopedia. Oh, there's a stack of iron over there, too. And another bamboo rice. Oh, that one's mine. <laughs> the other one can be someone else, but this one's mine. <laughs> It's mine. There, my inventory is kind of cleaned out. Mostly. I don't know why you have the sweet powder still in your inventory. That's a good question. What's your story? Good. <laughs> that I don't want to walk all the way back upstairs. Yes. You have two bamboos in this area, up on the top. Huh. What do I do? Bamboo Kung Fu. Yes! He thinks so. Izzy plays the accordion. Nina is in a hurry. The weather's really nice today, so Mommy's in a good mood. Uncle Kumo says summer isn't far away, but I can't see it, can you? What? What? You're weird, kid. Get it far away? Oh. It isn't far away. I can't see it. She's taking it too literally. The warm sun shines upon the land, much like a proud mother beaming down at her children. Its heat embraces your body and soul, leaving you feeling completely refreshed. I suspect it will get quite hot when summer is here. I must prepare myself to endure the heat. So you just like the heat that much, huh? I do! Izzy doesn't. How pleasant the weather is today. I can't help but notice. That's quite a grim face. Did something happen? Uh, no. I'm just thinking. Uh, do I really look... Do, do I really look... Just so I severe? <laughs> mm. 
Dizzy's tongue ran away. It did. Nice days like this make it hard to stay cooped up in the smithy. It's supposed to heat up again. Not much choice but to grin and bear it. To be grin? I didn't even know if he knew how to grin. <laughs> Hello, it's really nice out. Did you think it'd be okay if I closed up for the day? Welcome. Chat. I wonder if I should close <laughs> up for the day. Oh, hey Izzy. Wanna make an onigiri for me? Thanks in advance. So you can make the onigiri and you need to go buy a uh, chemistry bread. have all the other breads as you need right now. Ah. He did it! He's gotta eat that grass! Where am I? If it isn't easy. Hello, Yuki. I just want to let you know how much I appreciate everything you've done for us. You were the one who expanded our little bakery, right? Thank you so much, dear. You're very welcome. At long last, I can finally fulfill my dream of selling clothes now. I made sure to stock a few things in your size, so please take a look and see what you think. What do you want to buy? <laughs> Gold casual! <laughs> Nothing is casual about wearing gold. Purple wizard. <laughs> That's what it's called. Oh, what? That's what it's called. Purple wizard. Blue wizard is one I think Izzy would like oh, just because so it's blue. Your outfit? To some extent. 24,000! I mean, no thanks. I mean, I guess it's. You're at that point where you can buy that kind of stuff. Yes. Weapon bread. Yes, he can make more staves. No. Weapon bread. Staves. No. <laughs> I will not be cursed. It's not about whether you will be or not, it's whether you are. <laughs> Battle axe. Hammer. Backscratcher! Defender! And a new shield. Oh wait, no, Defender would be a sword. short sword! Yeah, I was gonna say it's a short sword. Scratch Knuckles! Another level up for your melee! Thank weapon. you! And Punching gloves! gloves. Aqua, Aqua sword. Staff! Silver staff. Yes! <laughs> you healed everybody in here! <laughs> That's not greeting, that's healing. <laughs> it is also the love spell, though. It is. They're both love spells. Hello. Love magic is important. Well, yeah, it makes you heal. Hello. So love magic is his strongest spell casting spell because he says hello to people. <laughs> what? Greeting is a spell, and it is specifically a love magic spell. So he gets experience in love magic every time he greets people. Hello? It's just a random person. I know. <laughs> they don't have a long-term relationship, Izzy. You don't have to. Oh. Would you like to do a directive? Licenses. I'll do my best. Take a license exam. What do you need to cook? Do you need a man's instinct, a cooking table, or a woman's intuition? A cooking table. When a recipe's difficulty exceeds your cooking skill level, you need way more RP to make it. You can't make it at all. You lose HP and gain RP. <laughs> How do you raise your cooking skill level? Make a ton of different dishes, eat, eat recipe bread, or force people to eat your cooking. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I did like it. how they ask you questions, but they also know there's no real reason to ask questions, so let's make the dumbest fucking questions we can make. Or the dumbest answers. It's like your driver's license test. Oh, you just now are allowed to cook? No, now he's able to get, uh, I think, a knife. Pro cooking license. What should you add to the empty slots to put your own twist on a recipe? Nothing, that's blasphemy. <laughs> Swords, spears, and other weapons. Vegetables or other crops. Okay. <laughs> what do you need to put your own twist on a recipe? Edible ingredients? Beautiful tableware. A large table. Cooking with high-level ingredients does what? Let's, Let's you create high-level, uh, high-quality meals. Let's you make weapons or gives you RP. I love these stupid tests. <laughs> When you're making something you've never seen and don't have the recipe for, you need a friend to help you, you find a way, somehow, you need more RP to make it. <laughs> find a way, somehow. Just put weapons in your food. Now your you can get the knife. You put food in your weapons, it only makes only fat reasonable. <laughs> Cut it a bit close, but congratulations on passing the test. We cut for, it a bit close. The, yeah, he was saying that because the you get the knife for it, so they were making a cut button. Oh, I can make I can go get more stuff from Pal. Can you get a blender now? I bet no, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> you definitely have the money to make some stuff. You also could possibly expand one of the farms. Hey yo! Oh, uh, See, perfect weather for us. He's actually just lazy. Man, this weather is just so nice. I wish it'd never end. Well, it's about to be summer, and it's gonna be miserable. Unless you're easy. Yeah, unless you're easy. And then you're invigorated by heat, and I don't understand it. He's cold-blooded. You are. You are the lizard lizard. <laughs> Glorious greetings! The weather today is beautiful! Warmest of welcomes! Come in, come in! What can I do Love for you today? Look gifts. He can do the three phase. Somehow. Okay, you can make a cooking table. I already oh, have. Or a frying pan and a knife. Find everything you need, and a few things you, you did. didn't. So what happens if you ship more than one thing to the same place? It just won't land. Oh, so you have to exit out of the menu every time. Find everything you need, and a few things you didn't. Fantabulous furniture. Oh, you can. See, that's the farm dragon. That's stuck up on Sven. It's not stuck up on Sven. It's currently sitting on Sven. Yeah. Oh no, he hit Sven! <laughs> Sven is bleeding from the head! I told you, see? What? <laughs> it's a great line. It's so silly. Sven is bleeding from the head! That be a context, but... Yeah, I was telling you earlier, I was like, it's such a stupid animation, but it's so funny. <laughs> you doing little carrying it over my head, shimmy. Pumpkinhead doesn't move, but his shoulders, they do the shimmy. It's the opposite of how am I am. Yeah, where your head, like, <laughs> does like down. this while you're walking. Your head goes you're not Reinhard, you can't do it. But, but, but. Mm. Reinhardt's able to have all of them, like, actually in contact with each other to save space. And also, because it looks nicer, yeah. You can't put things near the wall, and you can't put things... Near um, other things. Correct. So you can't... You can arrange your room, but you can't make it look nice. Correct. Mm. This game has some issues. It has many issues. Don't block the calendar all the way. Close. That's too close. No. Uh, the 2D games are the speed. 
buy in a pattern, were they? No, no, they let me put furniture inside of other furniture, making it a pain in the ass to actually use, <laughs> but making it look nice. <laughs> what? Are you just putting furniture in other pieces of furniture? <laughs> I mean, so if, it were, opposite, if it were a sword, it would be... I mean, you could do it. It's not furniture. Yeah, but if it were a sword, you could put it in a sword. I'm gonna give you loading tips and not have time to read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because this computer loads fast. Yeah, like really Linder. On, Switch. on my time at Porsche, they... Um... Oh, the door just stayed open. <laughs> um... <laughs> On my time at Porsche, some of the tips are not really tips. <laughs> They're like, um... Granny's Seed Shop sells seeds. You should check them out. <laughs> I mean, they're not quite that blatant. It's not really called Granny's Seed Shop, but it's that kind of thing where they're, like, explaining things that you would just know anyway. Can't deliver a thing to Fuka right now because you're doing too many interesting things. And I am. My place is. Saint Orchid. I didn't eat my other bread. Nope. Make Paragon. Cold medicine. One of these is more useful than the other. Brown no. rock. I don't now like you... being silent, so that is. Well, also, Paragon, if something does paralyze you, it seems like it's a colossal pain in the ass. <laughs> yes. Gotta wait one more game hour. And then you can go say hi to the guy. Hey! YouTube Living Room TV. Your Living Room TV. No, no, I'm not trying to buy furniture. I'm trying to upgrade. Yes. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no. What, the wood? Or what? Oh, how many points, points you need? You need quite a few more points. But you could upgrade your barns. Barns aren't my house. I don't live in those. Right, but then you can get more friends. Find everything you need. And now I can show you my friends. Find everything you need and a few oh, things. Now you're out of points. Well, you're not out of points. You have exactly one point. No. And you just get those by talking to people? By talking to people, by doing things, by completing requests and, you know, being awesome. Oh, so the biggest thing stopping you right now is all of your requests take, like, six months to do. Oh, you're just not awesome. One of the two. Well, he has plenty of awesomeness. He's not allowed to demonstrate. <laughs> oh, also, right at the end of one of the three streets, there is no bridge. And it's the one Izzy ends up on, like, the most. <laughs> You need to talk to Cecil and Fuka. Yes. So many chops waste some energy. Nope, it only uses energy if you hit something. Did you eat one of the weeds by accident? I didn't do it on accident. I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's even weirder. <laughs> That's even more peculiar. No, it isn't. Is he? <laughs> How Is do you he? accidentally eat weeds? <laughs> because he's picking them up and he just clicks the button again and hits the consume button. I mean, the implications are less bizarre <laughs> than eating them accidentally. I didn't eat it on ac Oh, it's sideways. You're... I noticed. I will correct shortly. I didn't eat the weeds on accident. <laughs> I ate them on purpose. Oops. Juice. He's really, really, really wanting to get that room open, but it's so expensive. I have more than enough money. I meant in points. All of those are types of expense. 
And I need a she bunch of wood out. again. A bunch of wood? Yeah, I used up all my wood oh. making... Well, wood seems easy enough to get. Oh yeah, no, he can end up with like 80 wood in his inventory at a time. It's not that, it's the, the having to do it that's the problem. <laughs> He also passively gets a little bit every day as things appear on the farms because the animals will collect them for him. Yes. Alright! Because they're awesome. He'll pretend to help when he's watching. Yeah, exactly. They are less useful if you're watching. Cookies? Oh, you made the brown. Great to do that right now, but thank you. Yes! Hammer time. Why are you two in the way? Move! I'll have to give you guys these, because I only have one brown. Ah! Oh, right. yes. Do either of you want a brownie? I am positive to the prospect. Okay. Yes, both of you? Yes. Yeah. Sorry for... I speak weird sometimes. You made more sense than he did. <laughs> yes. Oh, gotta go do the thing before the event ends again because it ends on me. Rawr. Who's doing that? What? The grar. Oh, that was more of a cawing bird, but... Oh. Scree! scree -ock. Event ends at 5 o'clock. Rip. <laughs> Hi, Martin. I hope you didn't wait long. Let's get going. Yeah. Yo, evening, you two. Thank you for letting us stay the night. I think there's something even more enjoyable about your outfit that you have the pumpkin head and a little bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No prob. The baths are all yours tonight, so make sh oh, cool. make yourselves at home. Thanks. I'm just in the shade. Little pumpkin in a bow tie. <laughs> Why are you walking in sync? Ah, now that was relaxing. Yeah. Something the matter? What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> it's like that is so weird. <laughs> This must be what Sis was talking about. <laughs> You're an odd one. Hmm, dinner was really, really good. It sure was. I could tell that Murakumo put a lot of effort in making it. Uh, you look sleepy. Because that, that long soak, made, soak in the bath made me lose my focus. As it should have. You need to relax more. Jerosh agrees. He told me that no one can make a good blade if they're feeling a, if you're feeling tense all the time. Master Jerosh said that. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> good night. Thanks. You've never made a good blade. Ah. <laughs> you fucking suck, man. Thanks for the hospitality, Murakumo. I woke up feeling completely refreshed. <laughs> I bet. We don't use just any old bathwater in here. We've got the good stuff. It's got, like, drugs in it. <laughs> good stuff. Hmm. Izzy, I appreciate you inviting me out. The sniffles of my shoulders is gone. And my mind feels sharper than ever. Now I understand what everyone meant when they said that it's important to rest. Thank you. 
You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Now I can work even longer and harder than before. Um, uh. Damn it! <laughs> That's why I said you just reach inside. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> uh, geez. He didn't really get it at all, did he? Guy's a workaholic, yeah, but he's not dense. The importance of rest, as well as your concern for him, made it through loud and clear. Have some faith in him now. This is fair. You know what? I will. <laughs> when you're thinking hard, you just eat your hand. <laughs> That's what being pensive looks like. When you're a pumpkin. There's... Is it Lily? Down by the tree. Yeah. Lucy. And then Priscilla. Murakumo. Murakumo's cool. He is cool. I like him. He's a happy guy. I guess you're right next to it. You can do it like the start since you're right there. Yeah. Oh, going to visit Big Brother or Uncle or whatever. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's with this crowd? See, look, the little bolo tie. <laughs> Where the fuck did all these people come from? They weren't here, like, just a few seconds ago. Hey, Priscilla, what's the story here? <laughs> Rakuma's offering free admission to the end of date. That sounds like a horrible idea. You're kidding. Free admission. Yep, is in waltz right into the bass for nothing. Brick bar super Brick Bar's hot springs are super popular, so we get a lot of folks from out of town. Put two and two together, the inn is buzzing with activity. But he's not profiting off of it. Murakumo really values his clientele, so he holds special events like this every so often. To be honest, my mom's worried that he's going overboard with the freebies. Huh. You very well could be. Typical Murakuma. See, but the other thing with that is, uh, you don't get a free bath. Only the people in the event get a free bath. Well, I get free bath still anyway. No, yours cost 500. You had to spend 500 last time. Oh. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Do you think the sun is playing hide and seek today? What? Guess what? It's beach day tomorrow. Let's go swimming together. No. <laughs> no germs. <laughs> Honestly, you gonna rain or not? What's it gonna be, Sky? I got beach day tomorrow. We've got beach day tomorrow. That means we'll beach take a dip in the ocean, followed by a nice hot soak in the baths. He has kind of like a like a fetish for the baths. <laughs> See, this is a place where jumping could be nice. You could jump the balcony to save oh, time. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. Oh. I did that all the time on Porsches. There was a couple places that have spiral staircases, so I just jumped down them instead of going all the way. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of people do this in the game. <laughs> it's fun. They're, they're playing with their thing. <laughs> they're just like... Cat they're like playing the theremin, but on bottles. They're playing patty cake. Cloudy weather can affect your mood. If you aren't feeling well, take a nap and hope for sunny skies tomorrow. Doctors are so just wait, sleep through the entire day Wait, if it's cloudy. it's cloudy. Wow, just everyone's obsessed with the weather. Yeah, no, every well, not only is everyone obsessed with the weather, but they only have one comment per weather type. <laughs> I mean, I never thought cloudy weather was that remarkable. Good to see you. Now, what ails you? Clouds. Chat. It's beach day tomorrow. I know that's exciting, but don't go overboard and exhaust yourself to the point of collapse. Or sunburn. I will exhaust myself to the point of sunburn. Is that thing in this game? I've decided. Sunburn? No, sunburn's not. Okay, good. I just meant, like, real world, that's a big risk of going to the beach for long periods of time. Sunburn. Which has an even long... See? She's doing it too! <laughs> Morning. The sky is full of clouds today. Oh, I wish I could sleep on one I of them. I missed that as I wish I could step on one of them. It's beach day tomorrow. Mmm, a nap on the sand would sure hit the spot. That's, um, someone said 
in the conversation on one of the discords we're in together, they were talking about um, how there's a dark mode and then ammo led dark mode, which ammo led is like extreme dark mode to do. Oh, that's the almond. Yeah, and that's I said I accidentally read it as almond mode. Uh, almond mode. Ammo led just doesn't look like a word. It's not a word. It's an abbreviation. Oh. Oh, Check. this joke again. Yeah, gloomy. There's a cloud and all that. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow's beach day. It's been ages since I've been to the beach. Oh, a real a... long time no see situation, I'd say. I wish the cures weren't so one note. <laughs> you liked all of Sansa's puns. That was just one character. Though. And all of Toriel's puns. And they, that wasn't their whole character. It was a lot of their character once that became the thing. What? There was a lot of, like, laying it thick that Sans makes puns and Toriel makes puns. It even became the reason that they became friends, was that they both make puns. Right, but there was more to them underneath all. Good morning, dear.